father in? He's in conference with Miss Adams and Mr. Wilkinson. Conference? Don't you get tired of using that word? Oh, well, I guess I never... How about a little conference with me tonight, baby? Oh, I've got a date with someone else, but I think I can arrange I'll it. I'll pick up your answer on the way out. She turned your proposition down. Preposterous! A girl with a small candy kitchen competing with the Marshall chain? What's the matter, Father? Letting a little chocolate drop send your blood pressure up? The girl has a good product. I'll say she has. Cute eyes, cute nose, cute lips. You keep out of this. We're speaking of candy. Oh, she's candy, all right. Only sweeter. How do you know so much about her? Oh, she's a knockout. Talk of the neighborhood. I got a peek at her while I was drifting around. That's all you do is drift around. But don't think you're going to get away with anything around here like you did in Chicago. Going to Chicago was Miss Adams' idea. It wasn't her idea for you to cost me a lot of money and disgrace me out there. I didn't want to come back. The police wanted you out of Chicago. Miss Adams has arranged for living quarters for you at the Towers Hotel. What? Am I being put out? I can't stand your recklessness any longer. I don't want you in my house. You killed your mother with your wild escapades. You didn't do too much to make her happy. Why, you ungrateful... Now, you go to work, or you don't get a penny from me. Okay, I'll go to work. I'll make that little candy store girl a proposition. Build a business up so she can better compete with you. Yes, you would. But where will you get the money? From you, father. Sure, from you. Did you follow me here from Chicago? A little matter of money. Those are the checks that your father knew nothing about. Don't tell him. He cut me off entirely. I'll get you some money. Come with me. But your son has a good idea. Modernizing the girl's business. Ridiculous. Why, we'd be financing our own competition. She's got something to sell that we need. Offer to fix up her little store. Cut her in on the profits. Yes, that's it. Make the proposition glowing. Then put the squeeze on her. But she'll be suspicious when she learns that it's you. Well, my son has given me an idea. And I furthermore agreed to provide up-to-date equipment to defray all expenses to furnish extra help if needed. Extra help, that's... The doctor said we need it for my bad feet. In return, for which I am to receive 60% and you 40% of the business. 60 and 40, that ain't but 95 cents in money, is it? Uh, Swifty, stay out of this. We're discussing a business deal. It sounds awfully good, Aunt Hattie. It'll help us get our chance. Oh, what do you think about it, Reverend? Well, it's Julie's ambition. She wants to get ahead. New idea, new equipment. New, new pair of feet. All right, as long as it doesn't interfere with Aunt Hattie. Oh, that's thoroughly understood. Aunt Hattie will not be disturbed. Well, honey child, if it's what you want, I guess it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 